In this video, I will explain the method to extract the fluid volume and uh, in this video, uh, the example is the shell and tube heat exchanger. This geometry was uh, downloaded from GrabCAD. So this is like a, a very, I would say it's uh, not specifically designed for CFD analysis. It is designed for manufacturing and right now our task is to extract the fluid volume. So uh, for heat exchange simulation, this is the conjugate uh, heat transfer and it requires the three volumes. So one will be the shell, shell volume where the shell fluid will be there. Second will be the uh, tube bundle fluid and third will, will be the thicknesses of the, these tubes. So every tube will have some thickness and uh, that thickness will be modeled as solid. So it is used for heat conduction. And while shell in the tube, we are going to have the heat transfer that is through convection. All right, so here task is to get the fluid volume. And first of all, these lids, which are extra uh, solid bodies uh, inserted there for uh, making the inlet. So these are not required for uh, getting the volume in a space claim. So triple click and delete. Okay, now go to the prepare menu and from here you have to click on volume extract. And uh, I will use uh, select edges because we don't have any surface on this uh, on this geometry. So the only method we have is to select the uh, edges that are capping the, the volume. So this and this for the shell part and click on this green tick mark. Okay, so you can see that now we have this fluid volume. So I will be now uh, hiding this from the screen. And similarly for the tube side, I'm going to select this uh, edge on this side and also edge on this side. In this way, we are able to get the fluid volume for uh, shell and uh, also for tube bundle. This is for uh, tube bundle. And uh, so triple click here and uh, let me uh, put the different color here for this body, whole body. Okay, let me choose some other color. Okay, second volume is the shell volume. Okay, now the remaining thing is that because the these tubes have the thicknesses, so uh, we should be having those thicknesses or solid bodies from your conduction will take place. And now these parts does not contain anything at all. So you can delete them. Uh, head one and head two on the left and right side, they can also be suppressed for uh, uh, physics. Then, so it, if you suppress them for physics, it means that this will not be transferred to uh, subsequent apps like the meshing and the CD solver like Fluent or CFX. And this shell is now, uh, we have already created the volume. So you can also suppress and hide. Now, the last thing is the uh, tube bundles. So I will copy this whole thing. So select everything here. Control A, right click here, copy and paste. And uh, now I'm, I'm going to suppress this body also and uh, 
hide it from screen. So now we have these, these are copied uh, thicknesses with along with the baffles, but we don't need the baffles for the purpose of these uh, thicknesses. Okay, so you can select them and simply press uh, delete key from keyboard. Okay, now you can see that these are the uh, thicknesses we have. So now you have to provide the proper boundary condition names and uh, then make the mesh in the instance meshing. And uh, subsequently you have to create interfaces either in the meshing app or in Fluent or CFX and then you can run the simulation. Provided that you have the proper boundary conditions like the inlet temperatures and inlet velocities. Okay, now uh, let me show you these all. So I have enabled all of them here and uh, from the design menu, I'm going to make the one section plane and uh, you can see it clearly that we have this uh, shell part, which is in the orange color and the green color shows the tube side where the fluid will be going and then different other different colors, they show the thicknesses for the tube. And here definitely the heat transfer will take place through conduction.